Okay, so we have a game called Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition. And I thought I'd jump on this because it's free to play, but obviously free to play comes with a lot of microtransactions. And this game's been ported over from mobile. But looking at the reviews, like there seems to be a lot of people playing this game, but looking at the reviews, a lot of people are complaining that the game's pay to win. So I've set up my name to be quite fitting, pay to win for the win. And uh, what we're going to do is look through the store because I've had a brief look and I've seen some things that uh, I'm not a big fan of at all i i understand it's come from a mobile game so it's going to be quote unquote a little bit scummy and it's being ported over to the pc free to play so it's still going to have that so the devs can make their money but when they do things like what they've done in this game then yeah it's uh so if we have a look here you've got the demolition pack nice deal sale 83 percent off from 30 quid down to a fiver this one's from 50 pounds down to 10 and this one, all you're getting is extra gold. Like, you're getting a 1,000 gold and apparently and more. But you can't see what the and more is. From £100 down to 20 And then I've claimed a free gift of a couple of coins. Then you've got the gem purchases that go up to £100 for 12000 I don't know why 4000 is crossed out. I'm guessing that's like bonus stuff. And then you've got coins, which you earn in-game. You can see I've got 43 coins up here. And, uh, yeah, 19,500 coins for £100. So there's pretty much nothing in this game that's cheap. I mean, the 150 coins is not going to get you much. It's a pound. But then if we go, we forget the store. We go to the armory. I don't know how this all works. But if you look at the weapons here, like we have an AK-48. It's got eight efficiency, so it's better than the gun I've got equipped. 35 coins. And I, I think this is where the pay to win's coming from, because as you level up, you unlock new guns. They've got better efficiency, faster fire rates, and things like that. And I'm guessing it's, it becomes quite a lot of coins to unlock new guns. And you've also got six categories. You've got uh, Mr. DJ, the whatever that is, instead of a pistol. That's 30. These guns, which look really cool, are 65 coins, so I don't have enough to buy them. But then you have your melee, you've got your specials with a snowball and things like that. You've got snipers, or you've even got bows, and uh, even their 30 coins. Then you've got heavies, you've got things like fireworks launchers. Then you also get armor, and I don't know how to unlock extra armor. But it seems as though you can change your skin and everything. There's some skins that cost these parts I want to go into in a moment. But then we also have gadgets, so your grenades, they're 60 each, and Molotov cocktail is 60 coins. And then this bit, this bit is absolutely baffling. So, with these parts, you've got three rarities, at least from what I've seen. You've got yellow, red, and purple. The yellow ones, if I want this heavy rover, I need 250 parts, and to buy them, it's going to cost me, look, it says here, enough to craft, it's going to cost me 4 99 Okay, I can get myself a heavy rover. If we go to the red ones, the Road Warrior, I need 200 of these ones. That is going to cost me £10, so it gets more expensive. And then you get down to the purple ones. So I want this Quicksilver. It's 100 purple parts. Uh, for 100, it's £20. But that is not the worst part. The fact that you can get this Quicksilver car for 20 quid. If we uh, scroll down, keep an eye on the purple parts. You've got 100 here for all these different trail things. And then you get down right to the bottom. And when you do eventually get there, you have things like this. So you've got shovel customization in the Battle Royale mode. And these things are 250 purple parts. So to get my hands on a Tomahawk shovel is going to cost me £50. That's almost the same price... I, I don't even know if you can buy this, because the buy thing doesn't come up. I'm guessing you have to play the Battle Royale mode to unlock it or something, to be able to like then buy it. But in order to buy a Tomahawk shovel, it almost costs the same price as a AAA title. It, it's like 10 or £20 cheaper, depending if you're getting it on Steam or Xbox or PlayStation or whatever. But for a Tomahawk shovel, it's going to cost 50 quid. Like That is an absolute joke. That's not pay to win, though. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into a match because there are a lot of game modes in this. If we go to battle, you've got classic modes. So you've got deathmatch and things like that. You've got battle royale. You've got free play where you can just play on a huge map. You've got event mode. There's new game modes every day. You've got raids. You've got mini games. You've got a campaign and you've got a tournament. 
So what we're going to do, because I've got 30 XP, I'm going to jump into a match. I'm going to try and unlock the Battle Royale mode. And we will see what happens with that. But this, like the death match has been very, very easy. This game's supposed to be controller compatible. I'm playing on PC. I've got my Xbox Series X controller plugged in. And Steam's saying, oh yeah, your controller's probably going to work with this. That my controller's not working with this game. So I have no idea what's going on. But look, you've got team fight here. Then you're unlocking deathmatch, point capture, flag capture, duel, escort, team strike. You just need to earn XP. So if you go team fight, we go on a random map. I've just unlocked the classic pool map. But I'm going to go random. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this match. So for some reason, it's not started me with the weapon that I had in the previous... No, why have I got a sniper in slot one? Well, this isn't even a sniper, is it? Oh, so it's like an AR with a scope. I'll take that kill. Oh, there's another one. Your invincibility is gone and you're dead. See, that's where I don't understand how the game is uh, pay to win. Because I've not put any money on this game at all. And I seem to be doing all right. Colonel, ultra kill, nemesis. There's another one, but I've got six rounds left. Yeah, I was always winning that fight. Quick, reload, reload. Someone's coming. Are they? Oh, they're all over this side. I'll grab all these kills. I'm going to lead the team to victory. There we go, we won. Nice. So that's a little team battle. 23 kills. I did the same in my first game. So I got four coins for that. 20 XP and five keys. I don't know what these keys are for. So how does this work? Oh, you get... It's 10 keys. Gain a 1,000 points to get a super chest. There's 150 keys for a red one. Let's open this. Oh, no. It's like Counter-Strike. We got a gun. Neon Fighter Level 2. Unique Weapon Efficiency 8. Complete three tasks. We get... Is that like a oh, primary... It gives a free upgrade for any weapon from the primary category. So what's this? Play one match on the classic pool map. Oh, you get 20 coins. Wait, but I can claim these. 10 keys and 10 gems. Well, I'll take those. Now I just need to play on the... Oh, you unlock new tasks here, I'm guessing. 20 coins. Uh, so where do we go? Lottery. I want to open another one of these. What are we going to get? Okay. We got veteran 150 parts. We've got 150 blue parts. There's nothing blue in the armory, is there? Oh, I've just seen more. There's Royale. So you've got a basic hand glider. You get better acceleration, handling, and speed with some of the gliders. You don't have any eggs yet, but you get pets. Wait, so where are the... Efficiencies 8 on that. I got 150 out of the 250. Look, these are all 50 pound each. Well, no, I think you can win these parts from the event. A foam sword. Okay, 13 efficiency. Fire spirit. Oh, you can buy that one. Yeah, that one's going to cost you 50 quid. <laughs> Fuck you now. All this is 50 pound a pop. Every single one of these items you see. So, you want a mutation cannon, 50 quid. You want holographic cards, 50 quid. You want fate, 50 quid. Wayfarer, 50 quid. Mutant Slayer, 50 quid. That's ridiculous. Wait, don't tell me it gets worse. Oh no, these are 20. They're the red ones. So, the parts that I got weren't even for anything that I want to craft. It was just for that veteran weapon. Oh, here we go. 250 for 10 pounds. 
I mean, it's better than the purple, isn't it? Like this. Stardust Tiara, 50 quid. Increases damage from a completed headshot. So in terms of the campaign, you've got Pixelated World, Block World, Crossed Worlds, Virtual Worlds coming soon. You've got three different difficulties. Oh yeah, and what's this weapon we got? It's uh, crazy with its fire rate. Okay, so match complete. Got victory again. I ended up getting 40 kills in that. Very, very nice. We've got 20 XP as well. So we've unlocked the Pixel Pass. We hit level 3. We collect Weapon Pass to get the entire set of cool mythical weapons available for purchase. Level 3 Spec Ops Pistol, legendary. What is this set? Oh, okay. So you're essentially gambling. Cool. 12 new things. Oh, the store's opened up a bit more. So for £5 instead of £34, you get all this stuff. 350 keys, that's tempting. 199 you get 100 keys. 25% XP, I don't know what that does, like how long that lasts. And then if we keep scrolling, anything else? You get a lucky chest. 50 coins. Oh, so you can buy keys now. 20 quid for 2,000 keys. 600 of these. The new currencies are opening up. Shiny gems for perfect weapons. 20 pounds for 1,200 gems. Wait, it's 20 pounds for 1,200. But here you get 1,000. So you'd get 2,000 for 20 pounds. Okay, so they're screwing you over in that front as well. Legendary Alien Blaster skin. You need to have a skin's weapon if you want to use it. Skin's going to be equipped. So that's 200. Oh, so for the Alien Blaster, if you want this skin, there's 200 diamonds. So that skin, I mean, it's going to cost you about £2, £2.50. It's going to cost you £20 for that robot skin. So we've done the tasks. We've had a look at the game modes. Oh, I have to play one match to unlock the pixel pass. All right, so I think I'm playing against actual players now. I'm seeing other people's names and stuff. The thing is... They've got 4% health left. I see where the pay to win comes in. Because my sniper, I've hit someone on a roof three times for them to die. That was a lucky one hit. There's one shot to the head. There was a kill. There's one shot to the head, two shots to the head, and they still needed to be hit by someone else. So leveling up the efficiency on your weapons is obviously going to... Um, it's going to make you stronger. You'll be able to one-shot with snipers and stuff. And you'll just have a better time. Like, on this map, if you don't have a sniper, or at least a gun with a scope, you're not going to do well. So yeah, it can be quite bad if people are putting money into it to build up the efficiency of their weapons. It doesn't have to be pay to win. You can still do good without it. But it's just it's beneficial if you're spending money on this game. So I would say I, I kind of expect things like this. Not exactly this, but I kind of expect things like this from a free-to-play game that's been ported over from mobile. They could have sorted out the store, though. When you're on mobile, you see a lot of them... Like 50, 60 pounds microtransactions. Like, you get whales in a lot of games that are going to spend a load of money. But when you're coming over to PC and you've got things like, oh, we've reduced this from 100 pounds to 20 quid, no one's ever going to pay 100 pounds for that unless you're a whale that's got infinite money and you don't care what you're spending your money on. And then with things like this, 100 pounds for 12,000 diamonds, just lower the price. What exactly does that do? What do I get for hitting level one? Uh, rewards, I got 40 coins. That's not bad. I haven't put any money into this. I got loads of coins. And then it says, go to premium. You get uh, access to more exciting tasks and valuable rewards. So if I get the premium, which is 1,200 of these, I have no idea how much that is. Oh, so, see what I mean? Like, these are tickets. This part of the pass is tickets. 1200 tickets from 1600 they're encouraging you always oh, this 25 percent off 
1200 of these is going to cost 20 quid but that is if you want the pass to the bundle you get 16 extra levels if you want the standard one is 600 which is better but it's still gonna it's gonna cost you 10 pound and you've got these extra tickets that are gonna do absolutely nothing for you take your time to look around and complete some tasks to level up your pixel pass um i don't care for the season so let's have a look. Uh, 60 tickets, you can advance uh, through a level. So they've got tier skip and everything. You get an hour on the 25% XP booster. Decorative item, poisonous piercer. So if you purchase the premium pass, you're getting a unique weapon, special legendary with 13 efficiency. And that makes it pay to win, because this isn't all cosmetic, is it? No, because you can get guns from these chests. Well, look at that. There's a melee weapon, second life vacuum, mythical, unique weapon, efficiency 14. You've got to be level 69 in the pass. And then you just keep getting mythical skin chests. But the thing with this pass as well is it's not um, just playing matches, getting XP. You've got to do tasks. Well, I, I don't know if you can get points by just playing. I think it's all based on tasks, but I'm not 100% sure. But using only epic weapons win two matches. That gets you 150. Complete 50 daily challenges gets you 400 coins. Win two matches while wearing no armor. Against players that are putting money into this, 350 crowns. Uh, Deathmatch. Defeat five enemies during one life, you get 300 crowns. Play six matches a team fight, you get 200. Okay, so I had 10 keys, I opened up another chest, I got more parts for the veteran. But now I've got a level 3, efficiency 9, rare uh, primary. And that seems like a pretty good gun. See, it's going to cost 100 diamonds to put it up to epic, and there's a task to only use epic weapons. So, there are pay-to-win elements. You can improve your, like, experience drastically by paying... But as you'll see at the top right, I've got 119 coins, 21 diamonds, just by playing the game. Haven't put a penny into it. So you can do it, and you can have a good time. You can be decent in the matches if you are just playing without spending money. So it's not forcing you to spend money and like pay to win in that front. But there is an opportunity to become better if you are paying real money. And I think that's quite natural for a lot of games, especially a mobile game being ported over to PC. I, th I think that's quite common like to happen in games like this. My problem is, like, if you're wanting a skin or a car thing for Battle Royale or a, a fucking shovel, it's going to cost you 50 quid. I think the prices for this are the, the big problem. Because they're essentially just trying to milk as much money as they can out of players. And it's going to work. This game actually has quite a lot of people playing. But what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.